Hi friends, in this particular video we are going to discuss a very important recent SEBI circular and this pertains to the issuance of securities on electronic book building platform or the EBP platform. So friends, we have been working in this direction of guiding students for competitive examinations for the past few years and we have been blessed with some of the very amazing results. In RBA grade B 2017, 27 of our students, they made it to the final list. And in NABAD grade A 2018, 20 of our students, they were selected in the final list. And RBA grade AB 2018, the final result is still awaited, but again, we are positive on this front also. Now, before directly jumping onto the questions, let me quickly tell you about the courses which we are presently running for SEBI grade A 2018. So we are offering these courses, you can avail the course for security market phase 1 and phase 2 or you can also choose the phase 1 mock test along with this securities market course and there is this full course for phase 1 and phase 2 of the SEBI grade A. So you can choose as per your requirement and also you can avail attractive discounts by using the codes given below. Now in order to channelize your preparation in a better way and in order to prepare you for all the related competitive examinations in one go, we are also providing some combo courses for SEBI, RBI and NABAD. So you can choose the combo courses also if you are preparing for all these examinations. Again, you can avail discounts by using the discount codes mentioned here. So this particular news was in the headlines recently that SEBI has eased the process of issuance of securities on ebook platform. So there is this ebook platform and on this platform now the companies they can easily issue the securities. So this was in the headlines recently so, now, so let's discuss the circular which is related to this particular news. So this is the circular which has been issued by SEBI just recently it is dated August of 16, 2018 so it's a very recent one and this talks about electronic book mechanism for issuance of securities on private placement basis. So this is going to be about the issue of securities and the issue of securities has to be through electronic book building mechanism and has to be a private placement issue of securities. So let's discuss all about the circular, the basic concepts, what the SEBI is trying to convey, all the important stuff relating to the circular from examination point of view and this particular video. So let's discuss what the circular is about, what the circular is trying to say. Now this circular is cannot be seen on a standalone basis and has to be seen in continuation of a previous SEBI circular which was issued in January 2018. So this circular was referred to as the EBP circular. So it is electronic book provider platform circular and this particular circular it mandated the use of electronic book provider platform. So it mandated the use of this EBP platform for private placement of securities. So it mandated that we have to use the, the EBP platform if we have to issue securities on a private placement basis. So with a view to further rationalize and ease the process of issuing the securities on this particular platform and in consultation with the relevant market participants which are, which are associated with this platform, SEBI has decided to provide certain additional facilities. So by now we have understood that through this circular SEBI is trying to introduce, SEBI is trying to provide some facilities with regard to electronic book building platform and these facilities include closed bidding, multiple bids, permission to depositories to also act as EBP etc. So this is the basic crux of circular, the circular is related to electronic book building platform and the norms pertaining to them have been further rationalized and the process of issuance has been eased. So this is the crux, this is the gist of this particular circular which you can see on this particular slide. So if you just remember this slide, you will remember this entire circular. So SEBI has recently issued this circular and the circular is with regard to additional facilities in an EBP issue. So what are those additional facilities? The additional facilities are closed bidding. We are going to discuss all these facilities in the next part of the uh, slide. For now, just try to uh, just try to understand and just try to uh, just inculcate these things in your mind. What are the additional facilities being talked about in this circular? So first one was closed bidding. Second was one is allotment on yield time priority basis. So first one was rega with regard to bidding. So bidding is an important process. Next is allotment 
Third is multiple bids. So this is again with regard to bidding, multiple bids by an investor. Next is paying of funds through escrow bank account. So this one relates to bank account. And next relates to depositories to act as electronic book building providers. So here, these are the additional facilities which have been discussed in this particular circular. Now, before moving forward, let us take a quick look at the concept of book building. So I believe most of you would be aware about this concept, but just to revise and for those who are not aware of it, book building is a, a process of price discovery. So it is the process through which you are discovering the price. Now, whose price we are discovering through book building? Are we discovering the price of books and notebooks? No. We are discovering the price of the issue of securities. So book building is a process by which the issuer company, the company which is coming up with the issue of securities before filing of the final prospectus builds up and ascertains the demand for the securities being issued. So what the company is doing, the company has to issue shares, but initially does not know the price of the shares. It is not fixing the price of the shares. It is trying to ascertain the price from the market itself based on the demand of those shares. So the company is trying to assess the price at which such securities may be issued and ultimately determines the quantum of securities to be issued. So company does not know the price of the securities and the quantity of securities which are to be issued and it is determining those things through the process of book building. So under this particular mechanism, there is a period for which the bids are collected from investors. So investors are provided a price band, say rupees 80 to rupees 100. This is the price band investors can bid between this price band, rupees 80 is the floor price and rupees 100 is the cap price. So investors can bid in this particular range and on the basis of the bids received from the investors, the final price is determined. So this is the process of book building. Let's discuss this through a flow chart. So there is a company. So there is a company, it has to come up with the issue of securities. So initially, it does not issue a final prospectus. Final prospectus is issued at a later stage. For, uh, initially, the company comes up with a red herring prospectus. So this is a red herring prospectus with which the company comes up. And in this particular prospectus, only there is a price band of securities. There is no exact price of the securities which is mentioned. Only a price range of securities is mentioned. And within this particular price range, the investors the people they bid for the shares, they place their bid, okay, I want to buy the shares for rupees 90. Another one may say rupees 100. So it has to be between the price range issued by the company and there can be different, uh, different amounts which can be selected by different groups of investors. And on the basis of the bids received, the final price and the basis of allotment is decided. So it is decided what would be the final price of this particular issue and how the shares are to be allotted. So the first allotment is to be made to those persons who are bidding at the highest price and then we will go down. So this is the base basis of allotment is also decided. And finally, the company issues allotment letters to the people who have been allotted the shares and to those who have not been allotted the shares, the refunds are issued and the company finally it files the final prospectus. So initially final prospectus was not being filed, but at a later stage after the final price and the allotment and the quantity, they're all determined. The company comes up with this final prospectus. So this is how this process of book building works. Now let's briefly take a look at the private placement of securities. So this placement of securities when it is done on a private basis. So this is the key word here, private. So a private placement is a capital raising event. So you are raising money, you are raising capital that involves the sale of securities. So we are selling securities, we are getting money, but we are only selling securities to a small number of select investors. So company is only issuing the securities to a select group of investors and to not to all the investors. So private placement would be different from a public issue. So in a public issue, the company was offering the securities to a large group of public, but in a private placement, the shares are being offered to only a small group of investors. Now, why would company prefer this particular mode of issue of securities? Now, the private placement regulations, they allow an issuer to avoid the time 
and expense involved in a public issue so it's uh, formalities can be complied in a much easier way uh, when the company comes up with this particular issue so the companies prefer this private placement over the public issue but then there can be different merits and demerits of each of these so for now let's not debate those let's understand that this private placement means the company issues securities to a select group of investors now what is the electronic book provider now electronic book provider or ebp it is a recognized stock exchange or a recognized depository so it is a stock exchange or a depository which has been approved by sebi in this regard so those uh, stock exchanges and those depositories which have been approved by sebi to provide an electronic platform for private placement of securities so we have understood the concept of private placement of securities and when this private placement is to be done through electronic platform when the entire process is to be done through this electronic platform then this would become electronic uh, book electronic private placement of securities and when this electronic private placement has to be done there has to be some person some intermediary who provide the requisite electronic platform now this electronic platform is provided either by stock exchange or a depository so this is uh, this is this definition how this uh, definition works so you have to remember that both stock exchange and recognized depository they can be electronic book provider sebi in january 2018 made electronic platform mandatory so it was made mandatory that you have to use this electronic platform for all private placement issues on a debt basis that have a threshold of rupees 200 crore so sebi decided that if you are coming up with a private placement of debt securities over 200 crores so you have to issue the securities using the electronic platform earlier this threshold was rupees 500 crores now let's take a look at the responsibilities of the electronic book providers now electronic book providers they are handling this very important process with regard to issue of securities so there has to be a certain responsibilities to which they have to comply with to which they have to adhere to so they have to maintain all the necessary infrastructure with regard to issuance of securities like adequate office space equipment risk management manpower and it infra so that they can effectively fulfill all their duties and responsibilities further they have to ensure that they take proper backups they have proper disaster management fr framework and recovery plans in place so that in case of any mishap uh, the things can be recovered and the depositories or the book providers they can start their functions again within no time so let's take a look at the additional facilities being talked about in this particular circular at glass so earlier we have talked about the different sets of facilities we have just took a snapshot of the different facilities so now let's dig a bit deeper and just uh, not in much detail much detail is not relevant for the examination just in a, a wider perspective just try to understand what are those additional facilities so so in order to ease the process of issuance of securities on electronic book platform sebi has allowed the investor to place multiple bids so bids have to be issued in book building of securities we have already seen so now the investors they can place multiple bids in a private placement issue on debt basis so this is allowed placement of multiple bids further in addition to stock exchanges depositories can also act as electronic book provider so we have already seen the definition of electronic book provider so friends in the previous circular this definition was narrow in the sense that it only talked about recognized stock exchanges and not included the recognized depositories in its ambit but now this definition has been broadened and both stock exchanges and depositories they can act as electronic book providers further in addition to the current system of open bidding sebi has allowed closed bidding on electronic book building platform so under the closed bidding there will be no real time transmission of bids on the ebp platform so you can place the bids and there will be no real time your dissemination your bids will not be disclosed in a real time to everyone else on this particular platform so this facility has also been given and again we need not go into much technical details of this one next is allotment to the bidders will be done on a yield time priority basis so again this is a technical one te technical topic and we need not go into much detail so we just have to remember that this is a principle this is a matching principle that the system follows that the book building system follows in matching 
the borrow and lend orders so all the bids or the bids which are being placed by the bidders for this private placement of securities they are to be matched on this particular platform so yield is a very important term associated with the bonds and using this particular yield a priority is to be given and this yield is inversely related with the price of the bonds and uh, this is a topic of for another time it's a detailed topic which we'll be discussing in a separate video some another time so for now you have to remember that yield time priority it has to be adopted further where two or more bids are at the same yield so where the yield is same then uh, it, then the uh, issue will be on a time priority basis so this is how the allotment is to be made the allotment first preference yield time priority and the second preference time priority so this is what the circular is talking about again we are not going to much technical detail so i request you guys not to get confused just read what you have been presented here next is paying of funds through escrow account so this additional facility have been provided here so in addition to the current process of paying of funds through clearing corporation so initially for the purpose of paying of funds so when you have to acquire securities you have to pay money you have to pay funds now initially uh, in the earlier circular this could be only done through clearing corporation but now this can be done through a escrow bank account of the issuer also so what is this what is this escrow bank account now let's discuss this escrow bank account in terms of any issue of securities so here we have discussed in terms of a public issue uh, for this particular circular it will be relevant in terms of this private placement of debt securities so when the money which is raised by way of a public issue it is initially kept in a escrow account and once the refunds are made the money gets transferred to the company's account so it's very simple initially when you are placing your bids when you are giving money so that the shares can be allotted to you at the requisite price then this money will not be transferred to the company so initially the company will not have its hands on the money this will be transferred in a separate escrow account in the name of the company and when finally the allotments are to be made then only the money will be transferred to the company's account so company will not get any unauthorized access to your particular money because the money will be kept in a separate escrow account so this is very simple so this is how this process can be used for electronic book building platforms also so now let's discuss some of the important mcqs based on the topic we have just covered which of the following additional facilities have been provided in the recent circular to further rationalize and ease the process of issuance of securities on ebb platform multiple bids by investors closed bidding pain of funds through escrow account or all of the above so this one is very easy for us now all of these facilities have been provided in the circular so answer will be option number d next is dash is a process by which a issuer company before filing of the prospectus builds up and ascertains the demand for the securities being issued and assesses the price at which the securities may be issued so again we have discussed this concept this is the concept of book building so answer here is going to be option number b next question which of the following is are correct with regard to private placement of securities a private placement is a capital raising event that involves the sale of securities to a relatively small number of select investors so this is true the private placement regulations allow an issuer to avoid the time and expense involved in the public issue so this again is true next is both of the above and next is none of the above so here both the uh, both a and b are true so answer is going to be option number c next is according to sebi regulations electronic platform is mandatory for all private placement issuance of on debt basis that have a threshold of options are 100 crore 200 crore 500 crore or 1000 crore so this we have also seen that earlier this threshold was 500 crores and in january 2018 this has been reduced to 200 crores so answer will be option number b next is which of the following is incorrect with regard to electronic book provider in securities market recognized stock exchange or recognized depository can become electronic book provider ebp has to obtain prior approval of sebi ebp provides an electronic platform for private placement of securities so again we have discussed that all of these statements they are correct so the answer is going to be option number d that is none of the above is incorrect 
So friends, these are the answers. So friends, this is all about our discussion on the recent SEBI circular which pertained to electronic book building platform. So this is all for now. If you want to know more about our courses, you can visit our website at www.edutap.co.in or you can drop us a mail at hello at the rate edutap.co.in or you can call us at 8146-207-241. Thank you.